Show. I'm Bo. Uh, Mears. Here in front of the gorgeous Meadowlands in gorgeous Garden State, New Jersey, our home state. Last game ever at the Meadowlands. Last week was the Giants' last game at Giant Stadium. This week is the Jets' last game at Giant Stadium. And then it comes down. Thank the friggin' Lord. Yeah, not good. But what is going to be good? Football this week. Dude, week Crazy. 17. Crazy. Awesome Look scenarios. at these scenarios. Look at these. these we got two insane. pages of scenarios. This is on notepad. These this is small. ridiculous. First one's kind of simple, though. Eagles win. Um, they get the bye and the two seed in the NFC East. Dallas wins. They get the NFC East possible bye. Um, I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to pick your your boys. I'm going to pick the Eagles to win. Um, I think they're either going to win 28 to nothing or a close game. They're going to lose. I'm going to pick the blowout. Um, I'm a little con little concerned because a couple things. Cowboys have been playing well. Um, last year the Eagles just humiliated the Cowboys the final week of the season. Uh, that was in Philly. This is in Dallas. A little bit different, but I still think the offense is playing well. Westbrook's back. Really didn't look like he missed much of a beat last week. Um, their offense is explosive. I think they'll put enough pressure on Romo, and they'll win this, they'll win this game. All right, so now we got to get into the AFC scenarios. I'll be honest with you. I didn't listen to anything you said on that. That's fine. Same shit there is a lot of scenarios. A ton of scenarios. Well, what's the scenario? Simplest ones. Ravens win. They're in. They go to Jets Oakland. win. They're in. They play Cincinnati. I think the Ravens are going to handle Oakland. I agree with you. The only thing that worries me is that Oakland only beats good teams. And since it's at home, they have, they have a shot. It wouldn't surprise me if they won, but I think the Ravens will take care of business and make the playoffs. All right, so I'm going to pick the Ravens. That's going to leave one spot open. The other team that can win and get in is right here, the New York Jets. I'm actually going to say that they're going to lose to Cincinnati. So that's going to open up the rest of our discussion for that last spot. Yeah, and I'm going to agree with you. I think the Bengals, although they won't be playing for much, I think their defense is good enough to rattle uh, Sanchez and it would take this game, really. I think. It I just think it's going to be tough. They're going to be playing tight. Yeah. So. Plus, it wouldn't be as much fun if we picked the Jets. Exactly. <laughs> so it would ruin all our scenarios. Basically, now, who's going to take the last spot? Let's start with Houston. Houston needs a win at the Patriots in one of well, they need a lot a win. of scenarios. And then they would need... A Jets win. to lose and Baltimore to lose. Correct. So we already picked the Jets to lose, but we picked Baltimore to win, so they can't get in. So then they would also need Denver to lose. Denver's Jets loss and a Denver loss. Right. And they're playing... Denver's playing at home against Kansas City, who they demolished a couple weeks ago in Kansas City. So obviously I think the Denver, Denver will take care of business in that game. Okay. So I'm not even going to get there because I'm going to say the Patriots are just going to do what the Colts didn't do last week. Show some integrity for the rest of the league. Play against an 8-7 team with your starters. Not do that pathetic-ass performance that the Colts did. Hope Colts lose the first round. Screw them. Patriots win. Houston's out. Agreed. Now, Denver, we're saying is, is going, going to win. win. Against Kansas City. So they basically have... Well, they would need a Jets loss and a Baltimore loss, which isn't going to happen. Right. A Jets loss and a Pittsburgh loss. We'll get to that. We'll get to That's that. That's not going to happen. Jets loss and a Houston win, which isn't going to happen. Right. A Baltimore loss, which isn't going to happen. A Baltimore loss, Baltimore loss, Baltimore loss. All of them involve Baltimore Ten losses. Ten scenarios. So any of them are not going to happen. So. Okay, so Broncos, win or lose, you're out. I'm going to pick the Broncos not, to yeah. win, but 9-7 is not going to be good enough for them. Now the Steelers play Miami. Miami's still alive. Yes, they are alive. They can be alive at 8-8. Eight and eight. They just basically need Jacksonville to lose or tie, and then every other team lose. Lose. No ties in those scenarios. We already said it isn't going to happen because Baltimore's going to win. Baltimore's going to so win. They're Miami's out. They're not going to beat Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's going to, with the assistance of the referees once again, going to march up and down the field in the fourth quarter. They must quarter. be paying them some good money because they are getting some calls. The, the last games. two weeks, I mean, you've had every bad play called back. Exactly. And that's, that's your responsibility as a league to ensure that your defending champions have a shot. That is your responsibility to put a fix in. I'm I convinced guess, that that happens it's unbelievable. in professional so sports. They get in with a win, a Houston loss, which we think is going to happen, and a Jets loss, which we think is going to happen. So there you go. So you got Those Pittsburgh as the sixth seed. You got I don't even know who would be the sixth seed. Y yes, uh, Pittsburgh would be the sixth seed. Baltimore would be the five seed. And then you would have Baltimore playing New England. No, I'm sorry, you'd have we Pittsburgh don't. at New England and Baltimore at Cincinnati. Yeah, and whoever plays the Colts 
the the second week after the bye, I hope they they blow them out of the water. I do too, because the Colts. That I mean, no pride to give up no pride. after three quarters. After no. not even three quarters, it was fifteen to ten with eight minutes left in the in the third quarter, winning the game, dominating the game. Actually, I mean, they were they really were winning. They were moving the ball up and down the field. They didn't score a couple times when they should have. But either way, to pull your stars and say forget it, here win the game, have a chance to make the playoffs is is a joke. Yeah, um, and it's every year the rhetoric that comes out at the, the press conferences is just uh, they just sound they just sound like pussies. They, <laughs> they do. just come out. They just oh, it's not important now. And then you know we this, this this loss today isn't important. It's more important to make it the Super. Bowl. Well, I want to know how this loss is going to go with the loss this week against Buffalo because they're not going to play anybody. No. And then having another bye week. And then playing with three and a half but weeks of not ever touching a football. What cracks me up is who will come out for the first series. Peyton Manning, Peyton Manning will, will come, come out, out for the first first series to get his consecutive start. Like you're worried about that, right? But you're not worried. But you're about not winning. worried about winning, right? So it's, it's a joke. Little, yeah, it's a, it's joke. a joke, and they're going to lose in the fir- in their first playoff game. And San Diego is going to make it to the Super Bowl. So yeah, I think uh, San Diego is going to have to blow out Pittsburgh because they are. They are taking care. The ref- referees are taking care of business for Pittsburgh. <laughs> I've never really seen anything like it. But all right, so we will be back next week for the playoffs. Yeah, for the playoffs, we'll have four games next week. The feature. And we got all our things set. Nothing remotely resembling what we had week one, at least me. <laughs> no, well, I have Baltimore, Philly in the Super Bowl, so I still have a slight chance. I got Saints, Bills. Bills is a big call. But you have Saints. Saints still alive. <laughs> all right. So uh, we'll see you. Oh, we had a winner last week. Oh, we did have a winner. Yeah, Phil Phil Helmuth won last week. <laughs> Phil Helmuth. <laughs> no, it was a fake name that came in. But <laughs> we have a we have the address of the person that won. Obviously, I don't think it was Phil Helmuth. No, Helmuth's I can't remember the guy's <laughs> name, so that's why I did that. Play a lot of poker. Yeah, right. All right, so we will uh, get whoever that was out a shirt. Yeah, and, we'll, uh, we'll send them out a shirt. We'll see you next week. All right.